Well, from today we are going to start a new series, indices. So stay tuned. So now indices is a plural form. When index many indices. Okay. So now let us learn what is what is mean by indices in maths. So indices is basically a shortcut way of writing that how how many times you have multiplied the same number. Okay. So basically it gives you an information that one number how many times you have multiplied to itself. Suppose I take a number 2 and I multiply it okay, to itself. Now if I ask you how many times I have multiplied 2. So I have multiplied 2 4 times. Okay. So mathematicians have found one shortcut to write all these that we call as an indices. And how we write this? We write this is it in this form. Suppose I write 2 into 3. So this is only multiplication. But in indices we multiply the same number many times that we call as an indices. Okay. Now let us take numbers. Okay. Like 5 into 5. So here what I have done, I have multiplied the same number two times. Here I have multiplied the same number three times. Here I have multiplied the same number four times. So how will we write this? We write this 5, 2. Here 5 is a base because that number we have multiplied and this number indicates that how many times we have multiplied. So this number we call it as a base. And we call it as a power. Okay. So now in this case, how we write this? We write 6 as a base. And what is its power? 3. It means 3 times we have multiplied this number. Now here how, how we write this? 2. How, how many times we have multiplied? 4. So 2 is a base and 4 is a power. Okay. Now you will ask me ma'am why to do all this? Because very first thing. Now suppose. I have to multiply the number to itself 20 times. Then I have to write 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 20 times. While writing, one thing I may, may I may make mistake. And second, it's really boring to write the same number 20 times. So mathematicians have found one shortcut way to write this. Okay. Now how to read this? How we read this? Now here. We have, what we have done? We have multiplied the number 2. How many times? 5 times. See. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So its base is 2 and its power is 5. So how we write, uh, read this? 2 raised to power 5. Or 5th power of 2. Or sometimes we do not use the word raised. We just read 2 to the power 5. Okay. Now let us take another example. 3, 3, 3, 3. How many times we have multiplied it? We have multiplied 3, 4 times. So how will we write this? We write this 3 raised to 4. And how we we read it like this? 3 raised to the power 4 or 3 raised to 4. Or 4 to the power of 3. Now suppose I give you 8 raised to the power 7. Or 7 to the power of 8. Then how will you write? Which number raised? 8 number raised. How many times raised? 7 times. So how, how many times we will multiply it? We will multiply it 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Done. And how will we write it? We write it 8 to the power 7. Or 8 raised to 7. Okay. Or 7 to the power of 8. Okay. Now let us... See, when we multiply the same number two times, then here we do not say that second power of 3 or second power of 4 or second power of 15 or second power of any number. Here how we read? We read square of 3 or square of 4 or 4 squared or 3 squared or here square of 15 or 15 squared. Same, when we multiply the number three times, then how we read it? We read it cube of 3 or 3 cubed, cube of 4 or 4 cubed or cube of 15 or 15 cubed. Okay. Now suppose I give you a letter A into A. So how many times we have 
um, multiplied the a we have multiplied a two times so how will we write a a square okay suppose i multiply x so which num which letter you want to take let me erase it we will take a only so a into a into a so we have multiplied a three times so a raised to three or a cubed okay we read this like that way now let us find values of some indices okay let us take first 2 raised to 5 here 2 is base 5 is its power it means we have multiplied number 2 5 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 4 let us find 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 16 16 into 2 32 so what is the value of it its value is 32 now let us take 3 raised to 4 it means we have multiplied 3 4 times 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 okay so how 3 into 3 9 9 into 3 27 27 threes are 81 okay now one one example 5 cube so how we multiply it 5 into 5 into 5 3 times 5 so 5 fives are 25 25 fives are 125 now suppose i give you a number one like 7 raised to 1 then first one power of any number is the number itself whatever number you have so the its first power means the number itself if i give you a number like this much b and its power first power means only the number itself okay now let us see we have fraction like minus 2 upon 3 raised to 3 so how to solve this to solve this cube minus 2 upon 3 how many times we have to multiply this number we have to multiply this number three times okay now here do simple multiplication 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 3 3s are 9 9 3s are 27 okay now which sign minus minus become plus but there is one minus so the sign will come minus so its answer is minus 8 upon 27 okay now if i give you a number 7 raised to 0 then then the zeroth power of any number gives you a value 1 suppose i give you a number 100 to the power 0 or 100 raised to 0 then we have number 1 whatever big number you have if its power is 0 then its value is 1 so coming to the end of the session we have learned indices what does it mean how to read how to find the values so in next session we are going to learn its some laws till then stay tuned